What's going on, my people? My name is Eddie, and welcome back to the channel. Today, all I wanted to do was just to make this real quick video, show you guys how to either select or deselect the option that eBay has for a buyer to enter their payment information in before they send an offer. I've seen a lot of um, comments and things like that of people wanting to know. I know that some people are visual, and so therefore, I just made this quick video just to show you where you can go at into your account and find that option. And you can either select, it's probably already pre-selected because mine was, and you can deselect it if you want, or you can at least just know where it's at. I'm kind of playing with it right now. Only done it for a couple of days. I really have not seen the increase in offers um, since I deselected it, but we'll see what happens. I might, I might, I might reselect it and leave it that way. We'll see. But for those of you who wanted to know, here's a quick video showing you how to do it. Do me a favor. After the, after after I show you that in that video, I'm gonna just go ahead and end it. But do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, pound on that notification bell so that you're notified every time I drop another video. Okay, so I've seen a lot of questions in the groups and even on YouTube videos about people wondering about the uh, the option for buyers to put in their payment info when they send an offer and how you can remove that option. And I know some people are visual. And so I just wanted to make this quick video to show you how to do it. So in your account, you got to go under account settings. All right. I'm already in my account settings dashboard. You want to make sure you under selling and then under selling, you want to go and click the selling preferences link. All right. After you come on to this page on a seller, after you click the selling preferences link, you'll come up on this page. You want to go down and scroll down to your buyers and then you want to make sure you click on blocked buyer list. Click on the edit button. All right. And then <clears throat> under here, you, you'll see options for you can manage your blocked buyer list. You can manage your exemption list for buyer exemptions. You can also do some other things where you can block buyers who have caused Minimum of two to five cancellations of unpaid cases, which in within, you know, one, six or 12 months, which I do. And there's a few more options, but if you scroll down to the bottom, here's what we're looking for. Buyer payment requirements require buyers to provide a payment method before they make an offer. My box was checked. I unchecked it just a couple days ago. And honestly, I haven't gotten a whole lot more offers. I, you know, I heard people saying they don't want to check because they feel like they'll get less offers. So far, it has not made a difference. And I've had this box checked since they started this feature, which I don't know exactly when they started, but I just unchecked it a couple days ago. I mean, it's only been a couple days, but I, I really haven't seen an increase in offers, honestly, just by unchecking it. I'm going to leave it unchecked for now. And then, you know, after a week or two, if I don't see much of a difference, I'll probably check it back because I feel like this. If, if you if you're going to put in an offer, you shouldn't have a problem putting in your payment info and be ready to pay. Like, don't put the, the offer in if you're not ready to pay right now. And that's just how I feel about it. You know, I know some people want to buy an item maybe and pay a few days later or they might, you know, buy it on Tuesday and then pay on Friday, which that's fine with me. I usually allow four days, you know, before I cancel an order. But if you're going to make me an offer and I accept the offer, then I feel like you shouldn't have an issue putting in your payment info. But either way, I'm just going to see if it has an effect on the amount of offers I get and sales and so on and so forth. So right now it's unchecked. You can check it. You can uncheck it. You would just click submit after that. And that was it. And that'll be it. OK, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and bang on that notification bell. So the next time I upload a video, you'll be one of the first ones to know.